You're an invasive species. It's right. You know what their will is? You're talking shit. Oh, fuck is that? They'd be scary. Channel. Race. That's I know, disgusting. I can see a bloody hand going up a cow's ass. That's it disgusting. Turn me on. It That's might disgusting. turn you on, mate, but it doesn't turn me on. It doesn't turn me on. I'm trying to stop it. Okay. Jerry, how you going, mate? Good, good. What milk you got in there? Oh, no, Starbucks. Is this uh, dairy milk? Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Did you read the sign? Yeah, yeah. yeah We're against uh, milk. It says dairy is the rape industry. Yeah. Prove me wrong. What do you mean by that? Okay, here. This here is um, an electro ejaculator. They hold a, a ball down in a rack uh -huh. so they can't move and they, they stick this in their bum uh -huh. to send an electric pulse into them. See, it's trying to escape there. And what's, it, the, what's the idea of that? It makes them ejaculate so they can take their semen from them. Okay, and what's that have to do with the milk? Okay, so the next scene here, they have a female animal. What they do is they put that in, they put their hand inside of her rectum basically. So they can hold the cervix here and then they put a pipette full, full that's where the semen goes, into yeah. her vagina. So what's it have to do with the milk? Cows have to be pregnant to produce milk. So they need to have a baby. Okay, okay, so they get them pregnant. That's the whole idea of how you could produce the milk. They have the baby after a nine month pregnancy. Okay, I love cheese. What's the alternative? How can we, uh, how can we have cheese without the milk? That was quick. Yeah. <laughs> no argument. <laughs> so well, what happens to the calves? The male calves will be bolt gunned in the head sometimes on their first day of life. They won't produce milk. Dairy industry don't want them. They, don't, they sometimes grow them for beef. Um, the cow, once she produ stops producing milk, she gets turned into burgers and killed. Okay, that's what happens to her after about five or six cycles. Well, I, don't eat, I don't eat beef, so yeah. um, I'm on board with that. Okay. So alternatives are any of the plant milks, soya, rice, oat milk, almond milk, cashew milk. The cheeses, all the vegan cheeses, plant-based cheeses. How's the taste? Pretty much the same? Um, if you find the right one, yeah. yeah. Like, I'm not going to say they taste exactly the same. You go from some Stilton cheese and f try to find a vegan version. But they're pretty good. You know, yeah. They're pretty good. You get cashew cheese, coconut uh, milk, uh, coconut fat cheese. Um, but yeah, you'll avoid this. Sounds good. Yeah. Yeah. As long as it tastes like cheese. Yeah. Taste. I. I. We, I get I some. I don't want to give up cheese. The first one I tasted, I was like, ooh, I don't know. But then you move through. But let's just say you didn't like the taste of the vegan cheeses. Would you continue to pay for this to happen? Would I? Would I still buy cheese? Yeah. 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 So even though this happens to cows, they get raped, they get killed, they have their children stolen. You'd say the taste of cheese outweighs this suffering and death. Well, you know, I'm not for any suffering, any death, or anything like that, but maybe they could find a, a nicer way to do it. Yeah. How do you do this nicely, do you think? I don't know. I know, yeah. but if you could make vegan cheese, yeah. then perhaps you could find a way to better impregnate a cow. Yeah, because they, they're not consenting, they're exploiting these animals and they're killing them. So this is all part I'm of the process. I'm not, I'm not up for killing anything. They have you know? to. Yeah. They well, have to. Get, to. Well, you, you don't have to kill a cow to get milk, otherwise you can't get the milk if you kill them. No, but they have to kill them at the end of the process to let the new cows come in. Otherwise, they're just going to have billions of cows. Well, Because they keep breeding them and breeding them and breeding them and breeding yeah. them. They have to kill them and kill them and kill them and kill them to keep up. Well, it would be nice if you could put them somewhere out to pasture and let them live a natural life and die naturally. That that would be more humane, I would think. Yeah, but then we couldn't possibly do that. It's just impossible. We don't have the resources to look after a billion, uh, hundred billion cows. There's 70 billion land animals on Earth right now that we are using to exploit and kill and consume. There's only 7 billion humans. Yeah, there must be some, some, some form of uh, something they could contribute. Uh, fertilizer, whatever it, it happens to be, you know. Uh, There's not enough land or food or water to feed all these animals, you know what I mean? There's a lot of land out there. There's a lot of land. Yeah, but grazing animals are taking up most of the Earth's land already, so if we didn't kill them on top of that, and, and we're killing them, but if we didn't kill them on top of that, then it would just it would spiral out of control. There's no possible mathematical way to produce, you know, all of these animals and let them live out their lives to, just, just for milk. So you're saying that it's, uh, well, how about if the human population gets to a point where, uh, you know, it's, it, you, you can't live off the land with the human population? Do you, um, do you just kill them? Well, the thing is, uh, these animals outnumber us by 10 times. So if we stopped mass breeding animals for milk and eggs and meat, then that number would dwindle down, and then we'd have more than enough you know, population growth space. We have more than enough food. You know how much food and water these animals need in the, for the dairy and for the, you know, the, they've been fed tons and tons of grain and water. Now we could use that grain to feed the starving people on Earth. 
but even though the, the, you say your favorite cheese, the vegan cheese didn't taste like your favorite cheese, right? You would still support this industry because you couldn't give up your favorite cheese? I don't, I don't support any suffering, put it that way. But uh, if there's cheese in the store and they, they don't find a solution, you're saying, you uh, pay for it. Yeah, you pay for it, you're, yeah. Say, you're saying that if nobody did it, they wouldn't have the cheese in the store. That's how industry yeah. works. Drug dealers don't sell heroin unless people buy it. Yeah. You know? If you stop buying the cheese, these animals stop being exploited and killed, yeah? Yeah. Oh, you got a point there. If enough of us boycott, I mean, dairy industry is already looking a little bit... Because people are finding alternatives and finding out about this, and the alternatives are pretty good. I think, you know? uh, I think uh, you got to start developing a, a, a good tasting cheese that's... Uh, that's done from uh, plants or whatever you do, the soy or whatever. Where are you from, America? New Jersey, yeah. New Jersey. America's got, I'd say there's probably more options in America for vegan cheese. So what I would suggest is if you try one, don't let that be the end. There's about 30, 40 different types and they're easy to find. Whole Foods has got a bunch, but uh, find the one you like. Right. And just know that, okay, when I buy this cheese, it's just plants. It's not someone being raped and killed and tortured and having their children stolen. Well, thanks for your concern. <laughs> Nice talking yeah. to you, Jerry. You're a good man. Thanks, brother. Okay, thank you. Nice to meet you. And Starbucks do soya milk, almond milk, oat milk. The only thing is with uh, some of them, has a lot of, has a lot of sugar. And I, I'm a type 2 diabetic, so I don't know if the soy or uh, the other ones are less sugar. Oat milk, uh, yeah. you know, I think, is that full fat dairy? Uh, yeah, this is dairy, yeah. yeah full, it's got yeah. lactose and saturated yeah, yeah, fat. Yeah, it has sugar also, yeah. yeah. Should check out Dr. Neil Barnard. Uh, reverse diabetes okay. with a plant-based diet. Yeah, Saturated, yeah. yeah, it's Dr. Neil Barnard. Okay. Yeah, yeah, check him out. But definitely oat milk, much better than full-fat dairy. Yeah, thanks for the advice. Take care, brother. Okay, see you. Watch him all the time, man. Hey, brother, how are you? Good job. It's good to see you. Oh, uh, this is a... Yeah, yeah, I'm vegan too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. cool. I saw you in, um, uh, in Cape Town. Oh, did you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, you good there, you will. Hey, buddy, how you going? <laughs> good luck for me, Is this applied to camels as well? Like, you know, when they milk cow, camels and... Oh, the cam just camel cows? dairy. Well, what first... About reindeers and stuff? And well, let, well, let's talk about the sign. What do you think about the sign? Do you agree or disagree with what's on the sign? I don't agree with it at all. You don't agree that it's right? No. Okay. Well, let me show you... It's got something to do with some sexual thing, hasn't it? Yeah, okay. Well, let's have a look. Do you think they're sexually abusing the cows? Well, let's have a look. Okay. That's not sexual abuse. It's like a, when a woman has 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 that sort of gynecological sort of examination. I mean, doctors. She's stick consenting. Their... Oh. Well, fem uh, adult humans are consenting when they have these yeah. procedures done. Yeah. Yeah. Where is the consent from the male well, animal about, that has this done to him? What about other? Do you know animals? what he's doing here? Yeah, I know. They get this sperm. All right. How do they do that? Well, they somehow stimulate their testicles. It's an electrical yeah. through the anus. Okay. So, what? Do you, what do you? What's your? What's your aim? Is it to shut down the whole cattle industry? What is your aim? You tell me. Are you a farmer? Are you a dairy oh, farmer? I was brought up on farm. Yeah. Dairy farm? No, sheep. <coughs> okay. Sheep and horses. Well, they hold. What, what is your aim? What? Why do you want to shut? I, I want to. I don't want to go there just yet. No, I just want to go there right I'll, now, mate. Okay. I've come up to you. But yeah. why, why do you want to shut it down? Do you want to shut down the coal industry as well? Uh, I want to shut down animal exploitation. I think what it's about, unjustified and cruel. Transportation. Do you want to shut that down as well? I want to shut down uh, sl animal slavery and exploitation and killing. What about Eskimos killing um, seals and that? Is that okay? Well, well, how does that justify the dairy industry? Well, they're in a survival situation. Yeah, well, how does what, that? What about Laplanders farming reindeer? Is that okay with you? Animal exploitation, uh, so you forced breeding. And all animal exploitation. Yeah. What about dog dog breeding and stuff like yeah, that? That's what a vegan is. You're, you're naming all the things veganism so opposes. You shut down people even having dogs and breeding dogs. Well, that's a different issue to this because this is obviously yeah, for milk. Dogs, dogs also have those things shoved up their blooming yeah. vaginas and asses and that. Yeah, I don't agree with breeding animals. Okay. What, what is your aim? Why do you want to shut it down? A vegan are world. You, are you sponsored by George Soros or the Global Elitist or blooming? I don't know, Rockefellers or the, the Rothschilds? Who uh, sponsors I'm not you? an industry like dairy is. They're the, they're the industry. Behind this. Why do you want to do it? I'm an animal rights activist. Okay, so what about animals such as... Um, well, why uh, are we going rabbit? off into... Why aren't we talking no, about dairy? No, no. Let's talk about dairy. Why, why do you want to this is a dairy, this is a dairy event. The dairy industry? Okay, what, what let's talk aim? about that. Yeah, my my aim is to stop the rape, the torture, the, the right. kidnap and the killing. Okay, what about what about the halal killing of cattle in, in Muslim countries? See, now you're going halal. 
Yeah. Well, let's talk about no, dairy. I want to go to let's halal. let's get let's dairy. Off to, I've done plenty of uh, halal I've outreach. I've been in a thing. slaughter. I've been in a slaughterhouse. I've been in a slaughterhouse myself. I'm an electrician. I've seen them do this silly thing with the truck. Yeah, I, I'm opposed to that as well. So you're opposed to that so as why, well. Why don't we have this instead? Have you seen where they go? Of the dairy industry. Why don't you attack the halal industry? I can. But why can't I attack this too? They get exploited, raped, and I killed as well. I another sign here attacking the halal industry. Hey, I'm against animals being exploited and murdered, no matter how they do it. I'll accept your argument if you put another sign. Here saying we are against hell, hell killing because is that non? Do you go up to people who are against child abuse and go, hey, you should be talking about a halal killing and this issue and the, the women's rights issues? I'm talking why, about why dairy solely, today. Why solely you've picked on the dairy industry? Because dairy is one of the most abusive and cruel industries about, on earth. Have you ever seen a cow get killed by hell, hell? Is yes, I, I've got a, there's a, a there's a video of me in a halal slaughterhouse. Do you think they should be stopped? Yes. So tomorrow, can we see a sign here have saying you seen let's where dairy cows go? Oh, no. Where do they go? They go to abattoirs. Okay, and what happens to their head? Well, they get murdered. They get okay. bullet through the brain. Okay. So why aren't you opposed to this as well? Well, why, so opposed why, to halal? why aren't you opposed to hell help? I am. Why, why, I am. Why are you so selective? Listen to me. I'm okay. opposed to you're halal. Not, you're not, you don't care about the camels getting tortured in Saudi yes, Arabia. Yes, I do. I do. But yeah. why, why, why are you solely picking on the, on the dairy industry of Australia? I'm a vegan activist, vegan yeah. animal rights activist. I'm opposed to all animal exploitation and what, all these things that you're pull, pulling out of the air. So, so I'm opposed to them as well. Well, why don't we see the whole lot of the signs here? Because today I'm doing dairy. Let's see. I've never seen any other sign that you'd have for... You don't agree with this, but you said they're murdered. ...killing seals or anything. I'm against uh, hunting seals as well. So what are the Eskimos meant to eat, live uh, on? Well, they're, they're in a different situation to you. Do you eat dairy? I do. How do you justify that? They, they're justifying survival. How do you justify eating dairy? Survival, of course. You need dairy to survive here right now in Melbourne? Yes, you do. You need dairy to survive? I haven't eaten dairy in six years. Come on, mate. <laughs> You need dairy to survive like an Eskimo needs to hunt? Weird. I want to see a sign here with hell, hell. Hey, no Andy, hell, How hell. am I weird? This is weird. <laughs> Shoving your fist in a... Because you're so you're gutless. You're so gutless. You don't want to tackle anything else that's not politically you correct. You haven't, went to my, you haven't been to my channel. Grace. I know. Disgrace. I can see a bloody hand going up a cow's ass. That's so don't disgusting. Turn me on. It that's might disgusting. turn you on, mate, but it doesn't turn me on. It doesn't on. turn me on. I'm trying to stop it. Okay. You're so that's a disgrace? Wackers. How am I, wackers? How are my Who's wackers? Anyway, hey? George Soros. No, animal rights people. People who care about animals.